something movie like this, there must be some things you shoot which don't make the final cut. So yes. I wondered if he had a favourite deleted scene that we might get to see on the DVD. Yeah, there are a few. You know, there's loads of obviously Dakota and Christian. It's always like interesting to see what um, James Foley keeps and what he doesn't because sometimes I look at the scenes and I'm like, that's awesome. He's like, yeah, no. I'm like, oh, okay. So yeah, there's a lot of great bonus stuff on this DVD for sure. I got to be interviewer and I interviewed uh, Erica, uh, Miss E.L. James, and we got to talk about all things Fifty Shades. And so I know that that's, that's on the DVD, but I don't know for the deleted scenes. I do know it's steamier. Ooh. Yeah, it's much steamier and unrated. So we can't talk about Fifty Shades without talking about the sex scenes. Yes. Were you around for any of them to be shot, and what's the sort of reality of filming those kind of scenes? The first time I ever walked on set at Fifty Shades, Dakota was very kind enough to be like, yes, yeah, sit down and like watch one. And I was like, really, are you sure? She was like, yeah, just be really quiet. <laughs> and I was like, okay. And I sat there and it's truly like, it's hard. It's intense. I mean, you've got all this camera crew and all this and I really have to give it to her. You know, it's really, it's not an easy gig. Presumably they're not as sexy in real life as when we watch them in the film. Well, I mean, there's a lot of start and stopping. Hopefully in real life you don't start and stop. Nobody wants that. <laughs> You know, there's a lot of like angles and situations that are like obviously camera stuff. Were you on set for any of them? I would love no. to know. No, <laughs> no, I was not there. That is no, <laughs> I'm not there for that. I was there for an insert shot. We had to do an insert shot in our reshoots, and it was uh, opening a, a drawer, let's say, and it was full of uh, you know paraphernalia for fun in the bedroom, and the uh, we had an assortment of about. 50 different items that could be in the drawer, and the amount of people that we're all surrounding is trying to figure out what are the exact four items that should be in this drawer <laughs> while we were all picking them up and, and, and looking at them, and there was a lot of giggles. Imagine going to work, getting naked, being surrounded by 60 of your coworkers. It's like having your mom watching you make out on the couch at home. It's like, it's so not hot, <laughs> you know? It's like the opposite of it, and uh, yeah. It's, but the illusion, of chemistry and movie magic, it makes it look hot. The chemistry is so important, right? Yes. I mean, what did the cast do to bond on set? Jamie and Dakota had their own way of doing things, um, but we all kind of always hung out. You know, we were all in Vancouver, so there's not that much to do really. So we had a lot of time to like chill and go to restaurants and get to know each other. And I, I made great friends in the process with like Dakota and that. So it was just nice. Do you know what, for me to feel really comfortable, because obviously, I can sing in front of anybody, but, of, but acting was definitely something I wanted to build my confidence in. There's a post of me on Instagram where I'm at work and it's just me. And then uh, literally, uh, Eloise Mumford uh, posted like two days later how it's the entire cast except for me. Uh, so a lot of stuff, it was by myself. <laughs> Uh, or, or you know, with Dakota or Rita, who was who was great fun. So you know, a lot of a lot of my my stuff was like sabotage in the background. So I wasn't really around much. They, they keep they kept me separate. I think on purpose. What was it like filming with Rita? Oh, it was a blast. She the poor girl. I mean, she's like tied up and strapped to a chair for two or three days in this you know dusty, dirty uh, shed. And uh, she was a trooper, she was super fun. And what's your funniest or most memorable moment from filming? I think it was actually getting kidnapped and really getting tied up in a chair and having to sit there for like hours while the cameras were kind of setting up. And I'm like, all right guys, you ready? But it was amazing. I mean, I loved, I really, really love doing things that aren't like typical Rita or like something that's a really out of my character. I mean, what was that like filming those kidnapped scenes? Really good. We did it for a few hours. It was nice to not have to um, get out of the character and get back in. Like the director was very understanding, and you know, then we went straight back, back to back. So that was lovely. Coda and I were just goofing around, and we did. We were doing rehearsals in just completely ridiculous, silly voices. And I, I think there was a whole. We did the whole rehearsal without actually saying any words. And we, it was, it was, it was a good laugh. I realized at that point that we could have a good time, and it's not all going to be serious and uh, whips and chains, so to speak. It's going to be a fun time. What were the silly voices? Do you remember? Oh, I don't even know. It was like an extreme valley girl. I didn't have any other arm. I don't know. I don't know. You know. So yeah, it was super fun.